My name is Raina Friedman. I teach fifth grade at the Jordan Jackson Elementary School in Mansfield, Massachusetts. I'm also president-elect of MassQ, Massachusetts Computer Using Educators, which is ISTE's Massachusetts affiliate. And I'm here today to talk about engaging parents in the learning process. One of the things that's been really important to me as an educator is building relationships with families and making a classroom community. And the best way to do that is to open up your classroom to parents and being transparent even at the elementary level. I tell parents that I have an open door policy and they're allowed in, they, don't, they can just come in. And one of the things that I've worked really hard on is finding ways to bring the classroom to parents. So I created a classroom portal using a Google site that has all kinds of ways for parents to be able to interact with what's going on in the classroom. On the very first page, parents are taken to links to our class Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and class photo album. Parents love seeing pictures of their kids, and one of the things I figured out through surveying parents was that most of them are actually on Facebook. And so they like to get all their information about the day on Facebook. The other part of my parent portal has important documents for them, whether it's directions for things, it's getting to know you paperwork I asked for in the fall. We do a birthday book share because we have a no food policy. So students actually are invited to donate a book to our classroom library, which I put an Avery label in, in honor of the child. And the child does the read aloud for that day. So every year I get between 15 and 20 new books for our classroom library donated by students. There's information on there about our service learning project with our daily bread, which is the local food pantry, so that way parents always have access to that information. There's also information to support Google work at home because the students do do work at home in the Google Drive, so I've added articles and links and how to so that way parents have a resource. Another thing I do on curriculum night when the parents come in in the fall is I actually put Chromebooks on all the desks and ask parents to come in with their child's Google account. I then have them log in to their child's Google account and they open up the presentation that we're going to be going through and I put in a flip grid where students are sharing their hopes and dreams about the school year and I ask parents to actually do a flip grid back so that way their child can hear their parents hopes and dreams as well for them. It's a great way to introduce parents how to use the tools. The other tools I use is something called Padlet and Google Forms. Padlet's an online message board where students can write things and respond to prompts and then I can send the link home and parents can also add their ideas. I actually used a Padlet when we decided we were going to put a Google Home in the classroom. And I asked students and parents what they thought about a Google Home in the classroom. And parents actually not only responded with their thinking about how it could be used, they also put articles in that day for me to share with their children, which was a great resource. For Google Forms, I sent forms home asking for feedback about homework. That's actually how I shifted my homework in my classroom. So instead of doing worksheets and packets, my kids actually blog every other week. So their voice is being heard. They also write reading letters with me, so we're pen pals, and they have a math sheet. But I got this information from parents, so that way I've minimized it. The other piece that we do are discovery quests, which are once a month genius hour project. So that way parents are supported through that as well. I also did a Google form for a friendship book. I've done forms for how is your child doing with check-ins. It's been a great way to get information and feedback from parents. Lastly, we also use the Google site to provide articles of information so that way parents can stay current with what's going on in education. And I also blog. I think it's important to be able to share the pedagogical choices I'm making. So when I'm inspired by things we're doing in the classroom, I share it with parents. One of my most favorite blogs was when the students had a reading experience where they dissected the new homework policy in the district. And then they wrote to school committee, letting them know about their thoughts on the homework policy. And this sparked a whole conversation between administration, school committee, and parents. I really think that getting parents on your side and engaging them and welcoming them into your classroom really makes for a great school year.